Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play on the Factory. So, we are in today, episode 64. Right, so, off camera I did a bit of work. Uh, let me see if I can find... I think it's over here. No. Actually... What room was it again? I think it's over here. Yes, okay. So I added another tower of assemblers here. And are these... Okay, so yeah, these are handling nanoprocessors. And they're dedicated, right? Over here... And I could probably get rid of this one. But over here... Or actually repurpose this. These three up top, these are handling quantum circuits. And what I'm doing is I'm telling these to keep these items in stock. So I have to have a crafting card up there to keep these items in stock and run while we have less than a number of CPUs. So that one up there is for the quantum circuit. This one's for the quantum processor and this is for the quantum array, All right? So with the quantum circuits, we're only gonna be able to assemble three of the four where the, the big boy right here comes from the assembly line and speaking of the assembly line uh, I also created a few more assembly lines here this one over here I believe I'm setting up to handle motors yeah these are the uh, hashes so this one will handle motors this one will handle the pistons and this one I believe was set up to handle the mainframe right so let's come down here and as you can see I have this little setup here where we have a packager and unpackager and the item interface. I think I already covered this on camera, but I did it for each of these machines here. And I think for looks, I might move this in between these three and then pipe the conduit um, either left to right or down into the floor and around. But uh, I'll think of that later on. In the meantime, I want to get the LUV compressor done so that I can get into tier, into the tier 5 microminer. Now to do that, again, we need to get the motors for LUV done. Motor. And that is going to require uh, seven items here. Magnetic neodymium rod, the HSSG, and the yttrium barium cuprate cable. Now the cable here is what I need to get started on uh, That of course be needing a yttrium barium cuprate ingot and that comes from The dust which is composed of yttrium barium and copper of course, right? So I need a mixer that's going to handle these three dusts. So I think we need yttrium if I can remember Barium and copper, dust, copper dust. I think I'll just go with four. I, did, I already lost track of what number I needed, but I have a mixer right here, so that is good. Need to get a controller, because I want to run this until I have a number of stock, of course. We just need interfaces. Okay. Oh, yttrium. Okay. I was wondering what quest I completed there, because. Oh, barium. Did I never grab barium before? Huh. Uh, speaking of quests, let me just go ahead and grab those quests. Oh, they're down here. So grab those. Next up would be the cuprate. Yeah, we're working on that right now. Oh, it's a good thing I'm doing that too because that will lead into nuclear craft. I still need to get Fairborn and Tough Alloy done as well as the plating, but we'll get to that in due time. Okay, so I'm thinking here, I guess I can put this... No, what was it this room? Yeah, it's over here. So we'll put the mixer here, right? And, oh shite, I didn't grab an arm. That would be helpful. Gonna need a, oops, gonna need an arm. Oh, uh, you know what, I don't need to worry about speed. I'll just grab a medium voltage arm. Get rid of that ism. Also gonna need a filter or dictionary. I mean, item filter rather, sorry. Okay, so come back over here, plug that in, and we are gonna put that in there. Now, yttrium. Um, 
Oh, I also learned apparently you, that you can drag the items from NEI into the filter, just like you could you could do with Ender IO. I don't know why I never realized that before, but it works. So I'm just gonna do this, this, and this. Now, something else I learned how to do is once you have the keep exact or the supply exact option on then that's when you can specify how much dust can go into here by just right clicking right or left clicking so right clicking increments and oh shoot i didn't mean to do that uh barium All right so left clicking increments and left click decrements so we're gonna need it was where was it nope Oh, here we go. So it's three copper and two barium. So oh, there we go. And that should be it, right? No. Mixer. Yeah, one year trim. Okay. So that's set up. And we'll put that there. And yttrium, barium, and copper. Oh, and I didn't even set that up to import yet. So import, and there we go. That is gonna fill up there. Now, unfortunately, I didn't, I don't have a thing going for crafting, and I'm trying to avoid using so many crafting cards. I think we're only using about six, but, um, and honestly, what I should just do is go to my auto craft room Okay, cool. I have an extra spot for copper. So let me just do that instead. Copper dust. All right. Uh, not that copper dust. Copper dust. Uh, let's grab 32. Doesn't really matter if it's 64 or not. So come over here, insert that. And there we go. So that is set up properly. Oh, it's already crafted a quite a good deal of it. So let me get my wrench out here. Oh. And about a boom. And then return it. And emit. Cable. Now we'll cover this in due time. Uh, so let me just grab some of that stuff. And we'll say, I guess 64 is good. Now we can emit, or not emit, eject those dust. There we go. And that's going to stop because I think we already have the dust that we need. Okay. So now that we have the Yttrium Cooper, the YBCO, Dust. Is there a quest for that? I don't think so. No, okay. So now we need to go set up our blast furnace. So why don't I cut when that... Eh. Actually, I think I can do this. Uh, but up, 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 face. Two, three, four. Okay. So I believe we should still have one blast furnace ready to go. Wrong side of the base. Okay, here we are. Nope. Oh, I sh forgot the arm and the inner uh, the filter. Filter. There we go. Okay. So we want to make sure that this interface, this input bus, is not looking upwards. And then put that in and my screwdriver import make sure that's in there and keep exact well, there we go okay now boom boom cable hide those interfaces all right and why isn't that working because I didn't put on insert, of course. Now it is on import. 
Excuse me? Oh. Priority is good. Right? Right? Okay, what is going on? Oh, <laughs> I didn't plug it into the interface. Derp. Okay, now that's working. Okay, so while that is cooking up, let me get that into the freezer. Oh, shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, so that is cooking right up. And we're going to get our quest here. Nice. Okay, so now we'll come back down to our Blast Furnace controller here. Plug that in. Plug that in. And boom, boom. And we'll say 124 or 1024. And we're off to the races. Okay, good. That is all done. So now we have the ingots being smelted up. I believe now we can get into the wiring. So, okay, we're in the we're in the tab that we need to be. Let's get that nickel. And hard carbon. What is that going to be like? Okay, graphite and diamond. I wonder if we have any graphite to speak of. Yeah, we do. Okay. Okay. So, let's get back to the task at hand so we're gonna need the yttrium and we're gonna actually let me do this motor cable okay so yeah we need the wire first of course and then with that we can assemble the wire into cable and then wire mill I need to go and remove some more interfaces and machines, but no matter. Okay, so now that the cable is taken care of, now we need to get the rest. So long HSSG rod. With that, it's just a simple matter of two HSSG rods in a lathe. Weirdly enough, do we even have HSSG rods done yet? We do. Also, you can see that I have 1024 of the ingots. Not sure if I show that on camera yet, but there we go. I'll put that there. Okay, next, neodym. So we have neodymium ingots, but I don't think we have the neodymium rods yet. So we're going to need... Uh, let me see here. Neodymium. So we'll just do the neodymium rods like this. Wire mill. Oh no, a uh, lathe. Okay. Then long neodymium. Okay, so we need to magnetize them first. So let's do that. And I should have a polarizer. Yes, I do. And bada boom. Now we have the long rod. Okay, so that should be everything. I think we have that. We have that. We have that. Do we have? We should have a nailed copper cable, right? Okay, we do. Okay, that is good. So let me see about our holders. We have some. Now, I think it's over on this side of the base. No, nope. okay, other side. Okay, here we are. So I have a thing here already for us to use. We'll take two back. And as you can see here, the I have the pattern already kind of set up from earlier. I was messing around and realized that I wanted to do this on camera, so I didn't use it just yet. Okay, so now we have the pattern set. And we'll put that in there. Now, assuming everything is good to go, I should just be able to request a motor. And we'll see if that pops up. Oh, 
I should have grabbed a crafting terminal. Oh, I think I already missed it. Yeah, I already missed it. Oh well. So that's going to take a while. I know, I think I said off camera that I was going to test two things, but I never got around to testing that. So, um, I believe it, I was testing if this interface would go right into the, uh, the laser going into the interface, but I didn't do that. I think this is just fine for now. But, uh, yeah, let's go see if that motor is done yet. It is done. And there we go. A LUV electric motor. Very nice. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, now we need to make ooh, the piston version. The piston. And that requires a circuit. And I believe I've... Let's see, is this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there's the output. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's this is gonna be dedicated piston uh, assembly line right here, right? So, yeah, so there's a motor, here's a gear, a small gear, rods, rings, plates, and rounds, right? Rounds are made with nuggets, in a lathe and nuggets nuggets I could probably make an unpackager recipe for and we'll do it that way so yeah why don't I go ahead and automate all of these recipes off camera because we've already done most of these anyway the only new thing would be this round and uh, I will be back once I'm ready to set up the assembly line with the piston recipe. And from there, we will be able to make the LUV compressor. And after that, tier 5 micro miner. Can't wait. Okay, I will see you all shortly. Hey, everybody. Okay, so I am back. And as you can see, the assembly line is chugging away. I automated the piston and the rounds. Um, let me just show y'all. So the rounds I set up in a unpacker to turn the ingot into the nuggets. And then the rounds in a lathe, and that takes a whole 74 seconds unclocked, but overclocked to IV, that's about three seconds, I believe. So it's gonna take about a minute and a half to get all 90 or all 32 rounds. But uh, maybe I'll look into stockpiling these at some point. Any case, that is done now. So let's grab our LUV piston. I don't think there's a quest for that yet. But guess not. Okay. But what there is a quest for is the compressor. So let's go take care of that, shall we? So the compressor over here, that is going to be the three-pronged quantum circuits so we'll grab that boom boom and is the cable neobium titanium ooh okay so we need to craft that we might need another blast furnace neobium titanium so yes neobium and titanium in a blast furnace Oh, sorry about that. <clears throat> okay, then. So we're going to need to expand our, our setup. And, uh, you know... Um, let me think here. We're using... Oh, we're using IV down here, right? Yeah, IV. So, let me just open up that spreadsheet. Where did it go? Let's see here. Uh, okay, here it is. So, uh, Niob, um, titanium. All right, that is going to be 120 EU at 350 seconds. So, if that is on LUV. That will be a whole six seconds per ringgit. However, if we bump that up to ZPM, 
Three seconds. Okay. So Yeah, I think that's fine. We'll just do L U we'll just do I V for now. And we will bump it up to the next level when we can. Which should be soon, relatively. Okay, so just looked at my time. I think we're good for a few more things to do in the episode here. Let me just move some garbage into the AE system. I finally made a conduit probe, which is nice for changing settings on Ender IO conduits. Right? And we'll go for the Lumium cable. So if I wanted to like copy the settings between conduits, I would use this. And I never, I don't know why I never made it earlier. I guess call it lazy. Okay, so get some buses here. Let me just cut to when I get the uh, new set of EBF set up and get the Neobium Titanium all chilled and stored, okay? Be right back one more time. Okie doke. I am back, everybody. Okay, so I got the titanium niobium ingots automated, and that's going to keep burning until we got a thousand. In the meantime, let's get the cable processed. So there we go. It's a titanium niobium wire. And then the cable. Okay. Oh, I forgot the circuit. Don't want that in there. All right. So put. The wire there. Nope, oh, that's the wrong spot. Cable there. And the wire. Bada boom. And compressor. There we go. That is cooking away. So uh, I think we should have a piston already made. So he already has one. So this shouldn't take too much time to process up, but it might take a bit. In the meantime, let's look back at, I think, late game here. Okay, so once we get the compressor, then we can get into the plating and then the miner. And the miner itself is going to require a elite table. So let's get... A elite table ready or um, package right and we have the packagers all good to go compressor okay so looks like we're waiting on the rounds right now that's gonna be about a minute or so uh, that's gonna take its sweet time because the red coal I still haven't gone to the end uh, might want to take care of that soon. In fact, uh, bu 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 um, so I want to make the weapons quiver and the bow right here so that we can go into the end and take care of the dragon. We have the ingots. What I don't have is the means... To make, let's see, where is it? Ah, the flux crystals, which is just going to be a autoclave and an extractor. So let me just craft that up right now. Okay, and we already have the autoclave, so that's one part done. So the compressor is just about done there. Uh, that table is still being crafted. Let me go look on the compressor. Okay, it's just finishing up. Oh, there we go. I think it's done. And bada boom. LUV compressor. And we'll grab that. Sweet. So now we can technically make this, which is going to be two iridium plates. And that will take... Probably five seconds with the upgraded compressor. Yeah, I think so. Any case, that is done. How's the elite table? Still not quite there. Oh, wait. There it is. Okay, cool. 
Now we'll come down. Oh, you know what? Before I do anything. Okay, we have some things in here. So let's go ahead and craft up the package. We won't be able to make this just yet, but it will be ready for us when we are ready. Okay. So in here, we're still going to need to make the field generators, the plating, have maybe these ones. I think we have that, but I'm not sure. The thrusters, the reactor port, the controller, the chest, this laser, and the engine core. So that'll probably be for next episode for sure. In the meantime, let me go ahead and... Uh, you know what? I don't have room for this. I uh, might as well put it on this side. Not a big deal. Okay, so packager and unpackager. Don't think I have any do it's on me. Okay, so that's all connected, and we'll put that in there and there. Now, I don't know if I showed this, I probably did, but this over here is my crystal teen maker. See, crystal teen ingot. Because of the way this mod works, the unpackager is in the middle there, but we can't see it. But it's going to split the recipe amongst these tables. So if we craft in multiples of greater than two or two or greater, then it's going to split against two tables, right? So it's pretty cool that way. Paralyzing, parallelizing is pretty easy. Okay, um, so there's the extractor. I think we can get the diamond thingy ready before we close out the episode. Oh, not that. Okay, so we need a good spot. Oh, before I do anything else, uh, face. Or just in case. And arm. Okay, so. Over here should be good. And not that. There and there. Now we need to wrench our extractor. And this will take in redstone always. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So, oh. oh. So now that's filling up with redstone. And then from there, we just say, oh, I want to. Make sure I name this pattern or uh, interface first. So, uh, what was it called? Flux crystal. IV flux crystal. And while I'm here, okay, up. Come back down. And pop that bad boy on there and make sure that's on allow and there we go Okay, so let's go back up to our terminal and set this up Mana no Flux crystal There we go Okay, now for our weapons, so we're gonna want the quiver And the bow. And the bow. Oh, and that's going to need the obsidian rod, which we can already make. So that's good. Or uh, we already have the flux crystal automated. So that's fortunate. Uh, can we make that? Oh, we need the obsidian rod first. Obsidian rod. That's a pattern or a tail pattern. Okay. Boxed. Okay, there's the bow and the quiver. And that's charging up. And there's the quiver. Okay, that was simple. So now I want to empower it. All right. Um, 
There we go. So now it's empowered. Let's go out here and test this up. So as you can see, first off, it doesn't need ammo. All right. It's also explosive. Oh yeah. So let's see, is there any creatures nearby? I wanna shoot something. Ah, piggy. Let's see here. Nice. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. Maybe next episode I'll go and kill the dragon. And, oh wait, I need to get the cake. Right. And uh, <laughs> here's a little view of my house. It's not the prettiest. But I did my best to uh, make it look better. I mean, what can you do, really? Not the greatest at building roofs. Anyway, I think that is it for this episode, guys. I am going to stop here, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.